Big Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to London, England. We're at the Royal London Theater for tonight's main event. 12 rounds of heavyweight action between these two great warriors. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue court, that Jones Wise! And his opponents, fighting out of the blue corner, that Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Touch gloves, come out fighting. They're scheduled for 12. Here's round number one. Teddy, what role can the fans play on the fighters, the atmosphere of the arena, when they know there's two guys meeting up that can bang? And in the Holy cow! Bad intentions! His legs look shaky. He was hurt. Hey, 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 no holding! No holding! Locks that belt line well. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. That punch nowhere close. A stinging counter punch after some fine defense by White. What a smart combination by Bad Intentions. Accurate uppercut after taking a shot of his own. It is a seesaw battle early on here. Oh, Bad Intentions has been stunned. Good combination by White. Some fine fundamentals, good counterpunch. Nice mouth trap day, let him in beautifully. He didn't use G's, he used distance. He was damaged moments ago, but now he's got his feet back under him. Just not there, straight right hand off the mark. It's been a recent trend, Teddy, where we've seen in the heavyweight division a lot of Eastern Europeans dominating. Why do you think that is? Same thing in basketball. I don't think they're the better athletes, but you know what? There's an urgency. There's a real hunger. This is their opportunity. The fighters over here and the basketball players for that part, they have too many options here. Over there, they make the most of it, and fundamentally, they're very sound. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Good block there by White. And he's marking that target right above the belt line. Nice block by Bad Intentions. Last 10 seconds. Hey, did you see that right there? We come to the end of this round. Teddy, a round in which maybe a lot of trainers don't like to see because it was a very busy round for both guys. Well, it depends what kind of style, what kind of strength your fighter has or even what kind of weaknesses. If I had a guy who likes to box, who likes to counterpunch, I want a guy coming at him. Not with a lot of TNT in his gloves, but coming forward where my guy is well suited. He can pick him off a little bit. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Fine fundamentals, good counterpunch. Accurate counterpunch by White. of the sweet science you see the skill he has in counter punching and you know what he's doing is taking his opponent jam away good clean shot returning fire well done 
by White. Bad intentions is making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Not able to land the uppercut. On the mark, the counter punch by White. Digs in with a good solid uppercut after taking one. Punch combo by White. You can see there's blood on his cheek. Carries that punch intended for the head. Good exchange, he fires back. He just missed that shot up top. End of the round here, and as I glance around ringside and look at the judges, I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score. Yeah, it was, and you know, it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, where Leonard stole rounds at the end, where he just clipped off 30 seconds, and that's exactly what the judges remember. You see, he's committed to that body work. Oh, and look at this, Teddy, wasting no time getting to know each other. No, they came right to the center ring, said hello. Job to land that counter punch and getting away from one of his own by bad intentions. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Fine fundamentals, good counter punch. Wow! And a flush hook lands by White. <laughs> Able to dismiss his opponent's shot, and then comes back with an uppercut. Well, maybe one of the most impressive characteristics and traits in all of boxing, and we're seeing it on display here. He has an iron chin. Oh, an explosive headshot there. He is down. One, two, three, four, five. So he goes down but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Good job staying away from the danger there. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Blocked there by White. A sound combination by White. A crafty counter punch after a fine defensive effort by bad intentions. the favor with a right hand of his own not what he was looking for that's a miss right there by white 
Oh, very nice. Smart counter punch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. End of the round there. A round in which we did see the knockdown. And Teddy, when a fighter comes back to the corner, having just been floored, typically, how are they acting? What are you seeing on them? Just imagine you just walked into a room and somebody hit you from behind. You dropped. You're afraid to go in that room again. So put a light on in that room and explain to him why he got dropped. He will not be afraid to go back in that room. Excellent counter punch by White. You know, he laid it out to us when we talked to him before the fight. He says, hey, I want to do my damage on the inside. But it's how he's getting to the inside that's really been the payoff tonight. That's with the jab. Yeah, exactly. Having a jab is like having a credit card. You can buy a lot of things. It's bought him the ability to get inside and go to work. Oh, that's got to hurt. What a counter punch by White. Targeted counter punch by bad intentions. White's cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. Fundamentals, good counter punch. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Good defensive skill with the block by bad intentions. Targeted. One minute to go in this round. Neither man has decided to slow down at all. Oh boy, what a round. Well placed counter punch by bad intentions. No, he missed that right. Blocks it away. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. Good looking counter punch. As we come to the end of the round, Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, that's one of those rounds where I wonder what were the judges looking for because it's tough to kind of draw a line between those two fighters. Yeah, very close, but one of those rounds where you could steal it. You did a little bit more in those last 30, 20 seconds. Maybe that's the impression the judges are left with. Able to cover up that gut. Boy, just staying on the outside away from danger and scoring well. This is just perfect. I mean, just what I want to see when I come to the fights. Sign me up for this kind of a brawl any day of the week. You know, it's unbelievable. You feel like you've already witnessed an entire war, but you're reminded it's only one of the battles. We still have many more to go. He is in a real, real bad spot right now. Some punches Maybe here. a punch or two, and he could be on the deck. Oh, boy, he's got to get right to the inside, just go bear hug this guy. Either that, Joe, or maybe as big a long shot as this might be, his opponent now is coming. He is floored by a big uppercut. some way he's going to continue on here and if he's going to stay in this fight now he's got to avoid his opponent like the black plague halfway
way through this round. Nothing there on the punch by White. Bad intentions, his opponent is having a field day here. I mean, just so accurate upstairs, but there's one reason he's so accurate. He's not moving his head. No, he's not at all, and if he's not gonna move his head, at least do something else. Catch and pitch. What I mean by that, Joe, is block and then pitch right back. Keep your opponent honest. He's not doing that either. And for the second time tonight, he goes down. Well, we came in wondering whether or not his opponent had a good chin. We found out. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time.